TIFU by having sex with a friend who works in a brothel. We both are 22. I have known this girl since primary school and always have had a crush on her. But she never reciprocated it so I moved on from her when we went to different unis. Three years ago she went to med school. Started a good paid job as a tutor and was super successful. While I was struggling to pay my tuition fees. I saw her in summer of 2019. And then in 2020 I didn't see her because of the pandemic. But we also fell out of touch sadly. This spring. My relationship with my now ex ended and a few days ago I decided to visit a brothel in my hometown. Went inside and they told me to choose a girl beforehand. Online. But I told them it did not matter to me who it was. So I paid and got my room. Went in there. And there she was standing. She looked frightened and confused and to be honest. I couldn't believe it was her. I could have turned away and get out but I didn't. I went on with it. I guess I never really got over her. I felt so guilty. And even after the time was up I wanted it to go on. But at the same time it was so freaking sad. She looked miserable and tired. We didn't say a word until in the end I asked her what happened with her studies and job and she said, guess I went from all into nothing. It really bugs me now that I just did not damned turned away. I also hate myself from not knowing what was up with her earlier or helping her out. I fucked up badly. TLDR. I had sex with a friend. For who I had feelings for in the past. Who works in a brothel now. I did not know I would see her there but I could have turned back and I didn't. And now I feel like crap. Update. I already mentioned in the comments that I sent her an apology over text and if I could help her in. Anyway. She replied back to me with this. I got her consent of posting it here. I just could reply to you now. As you already noticed by now. I switched careers. Was it my choice? Not really. Due to anorexia, bulimia, and a depression I had to stop medical school and my tutoring job. I ended up without anything and found that working in this brothel would earn me enough money to take care of myself and my mom. This job is just so physically demanding. To satisfy every man every half an hour or sometimes even more that I really am starting to feel burned out again. I thought stopping mental work would save me. But this is so much more difficult to maintain. That is why I looked that way. I am not hurt with you coming in yesterday and with everything that happened. You were a client at that moment and I could refuse you. But I didn't. You know why? Because all the guys who come in and touch me don't give a damn about me. They just want the deed to be done. At least I know you do. You do give a damn about me. You did not even choose me on purpose and if you are at fault here. Then I am too. I don't need help but thanks for the offer. Let's not make all of this change our friendship and go on like our older days. I still want to pursue my studies and when I said from all into nothing. I hope I can turn it around again one day. Hope you are well. Most stories on here are lighthearted. Funny little anecdotes that make me smile but holy fuck this made me speechless. Perhaps reach out to her again. Wait. So you went in and saw her and was just like, oh hey. So are we doing this or what? Quote. How was that not awkward AF at the time? How did you go through with it? I really don't know how you could have gotten hard seeing her like that and knowing her backstory. But to each their own. Oof. Yikes. This is really fucked up. Ah. That sucks. I remember once going to the strip club with some friends. And I saw a co-worker's, semi-friend's wife dancing there. She was pretty embarrassed. And came over to the table. 
Turns out he'd left her and refused to pay child support on three kids so this was the only way to keep the lights on. It was super depressing. Both your post and the supposed text from your friend include various grammatical errors indicating English is not your first language. Yet she's texting you in English? This brothel has an online list of ladies. But you couldn't even be bothered to have a look and readily spot your friend? According to your replies in the comments, you followed up by calling the brothel and obtained details on their operating policies over the phone? Your friend texted you back and you got her consent of posting her message about deeply personal trauma on Reddit? This reeks of typical Tifu incel fiction. The serious question is how anyone could actually have sex with a dejected, depressed-looking, seeming partner. That's the real foo. Super problematic. And probably gonna get downvoted for saying it. Definitely hope this gets better for you. And more importantly, for your friend. You definitely foo by going along with this after noticing her demeanor. It sounds to me like she does not want to be there. In that lifestyle. While it's not your job to rescue her from it. Perhaps you could lend her some moral and emotional support to get herself out of there. This sounds like the plot for Forrest Gump for some reason. Due to anorexia, bulimia, and a depression I had to stop medical school and my tutoring job. As someone who once suffered similar issues, there is a high chance she's dealt dealing with some serious past trauma. And this woman's life has fallen apart because of it. Regardless, she seems to have zero support, mentally, emotionally, or financially. This is devastatingly sad. Did you enjoy having sex with a woman who looked confused, frightened, tired and miserable? Sounds like a great turning point in a typical French love movie. This is unbelievable, as in, I don't believe this actually happened. Don't have sex with people who look frightened. There is no way I could have had sex with her in that situation. To me, it would have become an, oh my god, what's happened and how can I help? I'm having trouble believing you went through with it. I'm asking myself, what sort of monster would do that? Am I crazy? All these people having sex and I'm laying here nutting on my stomach and falling asleep alone. Every night. Wow. Now that's a fuck up. Not judging your friend for her chosen profession. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.